Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. On a Thursday, doing some of this, this nondescript brown box right here, which contained inside is 2018 Topps Series 1 Baseball. This is random division break number two. Number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com on a Thursday. On the first of the month. It's the first of the month. Anthony, Jeremy, Mark, Diane, Eric, wake up. Series one time. Wakey, wakey. Let's randomize each list eight times. Three and a five. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eric with the last ball mojo has the, uh, has the pole. It's on the pole. Jeremy with the number six spot. Thanks to you boys and girls for getting in. Three and a five, eight times for the divs, for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. NL Central down to AL Central. So the Central's on the top and the bottom. And trades are allowed if you would like. Eric, you have the NL Central. Diane, you've got the NL West. Mark with the AL East. Anthony, you got the AL West. Eric with the NL East, and Jeremy with the AL Central. Now feel free to trade if you'd like, but you don't see a lot of people who trade. Insidious, what's going on? Doing well. Getting into this uh, this this big Series 1 break here, Jumbo Edition, 2008, brand new release. This is our last case, actually. I think we might have a standard case, Series 1. So let's print out that list. I don't think anyone's trading, so. So we'll close out the trade window. TWC means trade window closed in the chat. All right. Need to shake up the toner a little bit here. But we can still read it. There you go. Thanks for joining us on a Thursday. Here is the case, six boxes, 10 packs per box. Definitely a jumbo break. Settle in folks, this, is, this will take about 45 minutes or so. And after this will be a football mixer that we had set up on the website. We've got another version of that football mixer on jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. So check it out, two, four, six boxes. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna try to, to do my best to go a little bit more quickly in this break than we did the last one. We took our time a little bit at the beginning just so we can kind of get a close, a nice slow look, close look at the this new release. But now that we've all seen it, I think most of these people in the break were in the previous break, or some of them at least. But now that we've seen it, you can always watch the video too. We'll breeze through these cards a bit more quickly. If you happen to see me miss like a variation or something like that, we'll have our shipping team uh, go through these again while they're sorting everything out to double check the short prints, which are based off the, uh, I think we could probably base them off by sight, but we can probably base them off these uh, serial numbers right there at the back of the cards as well. And obviously, we'll dwell on the uh, on the hits that come out a little bit, a little bit more than some of the numbered cards. There may be some numbered cards that I miss as well. So, but our shipping team is pretty good about double checking everything and making sure that whatever you see will eventually get shipped out. But a lot of the numbered cards, the serial number cards, should be pretty obvious. I think we'll be able to spot them as we go along through the break. Uh, keep in mind, because of all the extra, little extra uh, details that we have to kind of catch in these breaks, um, just know that the, the sorting and the shipping of, the, of, of these particular breaks may take a little bit, um, maybe an extra couple days longer, possibly, but just keep that in mind. All right, box one, good luck. So we'll kind of breeze through these a little bit more quickly. 
Obviously, vet base does not ship, but parallels like that, inserts like that will ship. It's pretty standard for brakes like this. Sometimes these were, these cars don't slide very nicely. <laughs> Sometimes those are numbered, but that one was not. What in the world is going on out there? Some sort of cross country ski? And we've got an all-star game medallion. Carlos Correa, Houston Astros, AL West. Anthony with that one. Nine out of 50, these, got, these have some weight to them too. They're pretty cool. Former Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. Um, they, they do, Mothro, they do still exist. I think we did some leaf metal breaks not too long ago. What what is schedule? I'm learning something every day. I'm watching the hockey channel, the MSNBC, not MSNBC, NBC SN. It's too many letters. Nice yawn, Mankata. Out of two ninety nine for the White Sox, AL Central. Jeremy Merle with that. We should save our Super Bowl predictions for the Super Bowl mixer, Boston Graphs. That would make that would make some sense. Stay tuned, folks. Coming up next, Joe's Super Bowl predictions during our Super Bowl mixer. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. There you go. That's a professional tease in the radio industry. Justin Upton for the Angels. How about World Series predictions? Any early thoughts on the World Series on any World Series predictions? I'll tell you that is pretty rare. Pretty rare that the uh, that the previous year's teams will see each other again in the World Series. I guess one or the other might. It's very rare for the same teams to see each other twice in a row. Let alone have this have one, at least one of the same teams twice in a row. It just doesn't happen very often. Although the uh, odds wise, it's pretty good. Odds wise that you know the Vegas is giving pretty good odds to the Dodgers and the Astros to return to the world or to win it all. Oh, nice Francisco Mejia. 
AL Central. Jeremy Merle with that. So there you go, big prospect for the for the Indians. So uh, yeah, so it's the Vegas has given the Astros and the Dodgers pretty good odds to just win it outright. Their futures odds, but I just don't think that uh, I just think I just don't think that's gonna happen. It's tough to go back again. Um, I, I actually did a little bit of research on this, and I think it turns out that um, teams that are teams that are, are like over ten to one or something like that often, uh, you know, tend to do tend to make it to the World Series. Like the favorites don't always necessarily necessarily get there. Skull says Angels Dodgers. Sai says Mariners will go for the draft pick. Troy says he thinks the Yankees are going to win it all. Insidious is saying Astros and Brewers. Astros and Brewers. Brewers. Well, if they if they get that pitching in order, if they, if, I mean, I think the Brewers should sign you, Darvish. They need that. They they need that sort of front line starting. If they could get that, they could surprise a lot of people. I think that Yelich move was great. Yelich move was great. The uh, Lorenzo Kane move was great. Now they have a surplus of outfielders. Move some of those guys. I, I would get a pitcher in trades, and I would get the uh, I, I would get a free agent, a big free agent. Sign one of those too. Put them one and two. Right there. Boston Graf saying uh, Red Sox versus Dodgers. That'd be an interesting World Series. Yeah, I saw that, TJ. Mark Appel called it quits, right? He said he's out of baseball indefinitely. It, I saw it on a on a ticker or something like that. Any idea? What, I didn't see what the detail was. But he was a pretty highly touted prospect. He's 26. He was drafted first overall in 2013, but then was traded to the Phillies uh, after the 2015 season, two years later, and then designated for assignment by the Phillies in 2017, last year, last November, and then he took an indefinite leave of baseball. I guess it doesn't really say what the what the uh, what the reasons are. Maybe just just I mean, it's a grind. If you if you don't love it. Oh, he's going into business? Yeah, if, if you don't love it, you know, and if it becomes just a job, right, and if you're not, which is weird. I mean, it's got to be a mental thing because talent-wise, I mean, if you're if you're drafted first overall, that's not, you know, that's not like, oh, this is, this is a different card right here. That's not like, uh, who's the, you know, it's not like, accidentally drafting like I don't know there's a lot of research that goes into it is what I'm trying to say Carlos Carrasco 2 out of 99 with that sort of canvas feel on the back of it another AL Central for uh, Jeremy Merle
Alex Hewitt saying, correct, correct him if, he, if he's wrong, but didn't he have arm issues? That I don't remember. He might have. There's Michael Fulmer. Relic for the Tigers. It's another AL uh, Central. Oh, I didn't realize Mark Appel went to Stanford. So I guess he, I guess he has a has a fallback plan in case that whole baseball thing doesn't work out. Right? Yeah. Imagine if the Astros drafted Chris Bryant instead of Mark Appel. That'd be insane. Uh, not surprisingly, Boston Graphs AL East predictions is Red Sox, then Yankees, Rays, Jays, and O's. You think the Red Sox are going to win that division? I feel like I feel like the if Aaron Judge doesn't have like a sophomore slump, and if Giancarlo Stanton stays healthy, I mean, they're obviously they may not they're probably not going to repeat the their their seasons that they had in 2017, but still. That lineup is just is just ridiculous, and and at some point, more often than not, you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to score runs against against the uh, against the Yankees. You know what I mean? If Sale goes the whole, Chris Sale's not gonna he can't pitch 162 games though. That's the thing. Well, the Red Sox need offense. Their their home run numbers, uh, their their team totals for home runs are not very good, and this league is definitely leading home runs. Out of two ninety nine, Harrison Bader out of two ninety nine. Uh, Sam Banks was saying earlier the Cardinals would be good if they just had that starting pitching. Are they going to re-sign uh, Lance Lynn? They need guys like that. Cardinals actually need some HRs too, some home runs as well. Yeah, I. J J D Martinez just makes a lot of sense for the, for the for the Red Sox, but I think him being a Scott Boris client, I think he's looking for a lot of money. I don't know if the Red Sox are interested in that kind of uh, money and commitment. So that's the issue. But I think J D Martinez would slot in pretty nicely. Uh, so you're so Sam Banks is expecting Tommy Pham to kind of give give the Cardinals the uh, the boost they need. Oh well, I mean you did get Ozuna, right, Marcel Ozuna. All right, there's Eric the River Thames going to the NL Central, EA Sports in the game with that spring training relic. So can you fit in a 120 top loader? I think you can. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Did we not? We didn't pull the autograph yet, right? No, we didn't. So still looking for the auto. Looks like the auto right here. Yes, it's Max Kepler taking it to the max. The AL Central is taking it to the max. Jeremy Merle with the AL Central. Twins. Max Kepler has the tendency to, a little streaky I think, but has a tendency to go deliver some home runs for you in bunches. Thank 
that'll be it. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Nice. Another box in the books. Sleeve up the future stars. Cody Bellinger, Aaron Judge. All right. Next one. Yeah, you know what? I was, I was Tice. I was actually watching the. Uh, I was actually kind of half listening to the UConn South Carolina game for a second. Wait, do they really? Is that right? I guess that is right. Men's basketball has two. Has two half two halves, and women's college basketball has quarters. Why do they do that? It seems odd, doesn't it? Uh, yes, Tyrone tomorrow, as Tice said. Thank you, Tice. Very odd. Next one, good luck. Nice uh, little variation there too. I don't think these are very. I don't think these are very common. And we've got Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer doing the Harlem Shake. Going to AL Central, Jeremy Merle. 49 out of 100. A postseason performance rally card. All right, fair enough. There he is.
And here is the spring training relic. There it is, Miguel Sano. I like that design. I know it's, it's a manufactured patch, but still, AL Central, Jeremy Merle. Or auto autograph yes there it is oh world series relic auto i don't want to see this george springer al west anthony chan there you go anthony beating my dodgers nice hit though 45 out of is this game used ah oh, well it's game used, but it's not from the World Series. But it's still game used, though. And a nice autograph. There you go. All right. Halfway through this full case break. All right, good luck. Oh, well that's good, Ben. I'm glad it did. No worries. I, I knew it was one of those things where it was just I don't know, sometimes that shipping out there can get a little goofy. But I'm glad it worked out. I'm, I don't know if my, my pace, my time on this is, is any faster than the one before. Maybe that was my original time. I thought I was going slow, but I, f I feel like I'm going fast here, but maybe I'm not. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what's on the back here. I feel like I, there was like a relic on the back. I don't think the force is helping me right now, Mothro. I have not gone slower or faster. I've got, I think I'm right on the right on track. I wanted to go faster. It's not going to work out, I think. Because I'm at the 30 minute mark of this and I'm halfway through this break, which means this is actually going to be longer than my previous break. Come on, Joe. We've got we've to go. We've got, we've got other breaks to do, folks. We've got to move a little bit quicker here. Brandon Crawford, although I am doing two of these in a row, so maybe I'll just slow down <laughs> a little bit. Uh, NL West with that one. Diane with the uh, Brandon Crawford. Get a haircut, Brandon Crawford. Oh, that's a nice auto coming up. Wake up, everybody. Wake up. Nice auto alert. Aside from Cody Bellinger, 
and Aaron Judge. The other auto that everyone was looking for last year and this year is Reese Hoskins. Nice one for the eight NL East. Phillies in the NL East. That goes to EA Sports it's in the game. There you go, Eric. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This, this, that, and the other. Thankfully, there seems to be a bit of a seem to be a bit of a pattern in this, so kind of kind of know when to slow down a little bit to see where some of these the hits or serial number cards may be right around these cards right here. Because after that card was this All Star card, Michael Conforto, Mets NL East. Oh, nice. Mothra says he saw Reese Hoskins play in the minor league team in his area, the Reading. So, Mothra, when you saw him, was he was Reese Hoskins the real deal? Was he like, this kid's going to be a major leaguer? Seems like it. Kind of exploded onto the scene. And it looks like he cemented a spot in the on the squad. Probably opening day roster. Reggie's in the house, wants to do illusions. Sure. I'll do illusions. All right, looks like that's it for this box. Two to go. What, really? TJ re Remix in the house. Craig saying, have you come across the Posey card yet? It has an Orioles logo. Didn't we have a Posey like relic or something like that? Or just Posey cards in general? Maybe it's the previous break. No, I don't think I noticed that. Just as regular cards? If it's just the base card, we've been kind of flying through these base cards, so I haven't really paid attention. Oh, wow. There's Buster Posey right there. That's weird. He heard a sorcery, DJ. Talking about Buster Posey, and there's Buster Posey. But he's saying that it's the base cards. This goes to NL West, Diane. It's the base cards that apparently has the Orioles logo on it. Front and back? Some intern probably just got just got fired. <laughs> you had one job. 
You match the players, and you just drag and drop the logo into the design. This one has a San Francisco logo. Fake news, DJ. Or was it another was it a different giant? Or maybe it's only certain car certain cards. Open the rest of these. Well, this Buster Posey appears to be just fine. Maybe it's a different giant. It's like you, I mean, I, I can see that happening, right? Orange, orange and black for the Giants and the uh, and the and the Orioles. So it's almost surprising that mistake doesn't happen more often. Good luck, everybody. It's the rest of the second to last box. Breeze through these. Good luck to everyone. Then we'll dive into the last box. And then we'll dive into the next break. Which will be our Super Bowl mixer. So stay tuned for that. We have a second version of that. Same exact boxes, same exact configuration. And same exact Superb Owl giveaway in our Superb Owl football mixer. So if you want to Check that out. That's all on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more baseball on the site too. Tops Chrome Baseball, NT Baseball, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you feel the uh, the calling of spring, then join our baseball breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And there's Yasiel Puig. I had a bounce back year last year. A lot more consistent, a lot more mature at the plate, a lot more mature off the field too. Better base runner, still has that cannon of an arm. That goes to the NL West, Diane. So hopefully his production will continue this year. Hopefully it wasn't just a one-year fluke. That would help out the Dodgers a lot. And he put up great numbers. Um, he, he, he put up great numbers hitting out of uh, the eighth, eight hole, the eight spot. And Tim Anderson is your autograph for the AL Central White Sox. Jeremy Merle. 74 out of 99. So that's the autograph. There's only one per box, so we're looking for, let's keep an eye out for maybe an additional, no, maybe we have everything. That might be everything. Could be another thing or two. Let's see what we got. We'll do our due diligence. Might be a numbered card hiding in here somewhere too. Serial numbered card. With this expression right here, it almost, if you look at it quickly, it almost looks like, almost looks like Chris Archer. Kind of similar hairstyle, I think.
There we go. Sorry, base cards. And the last box, boys and girls. We made it. Thank you. Coming up next, our Superb Owl Mixer, which features two Superb Owl winners. So four squares each for them. All right, for this last box, what are we gonna do here? For the last box, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna play the more or less game. Do I expect more or less from these teams? Last year, the Red Sox finished top of their division 93 and 69. Do I expect more or less Ws? Probably less. Not by much though. The Yankees 91 wins. I expect more. Not by much though. Tampa Bay Rays 80 and 82. Less. Blue Jays 76 wins. I expect more. Orioles, 75 wins. I expect a little more there, too. Indians, 102 wins. That's a lot of wins. Less. I mean, they're going to win a lot. They're still going to win a lot of games, but 102 wins is a lot. Uh, twins, 85 wins. Man, if they, they had a really nice season this year. If, if they have, if they shore up that starting pitching, they got to get someone, some frontline pitcher to get in there and do some work because I think that's like the the key that will unlock that door to that team. I say I'll stand with a little less for now. Royals, less than 80 wins. White Sox, 67. It's got to be a little bit more. Predators scored, huh? And then uh, Tigers, 64 wins. It might be less, actually. Astros, 101 wins. They'll win a lot of games, but 101 is a lot less. Angels, 80 games, more. Mariners, 78. That's got to be more. Rangers and A's, 78 and 75, respectively. I think there's going to be less for those two teams. Nationals, 97 wins, less. I don't know if they, they might not, they might not win that division. Braves, 70, Marlins, 77 wins. No, they're going to have far less than 77 wins. Braves will have more than 72. Mets should have more than 70. I think Philly should have slightly more than 66. I think the Mets could probably win that, could win that division. Braves might be right behind them. Might be a weird year for the Nationals, I feel like. 92 wins for the Cubs, probably a little bit more. Brewers, 86 wins, probably more. Brewers might win that division, I think. Um, Pirates, less than 75 wins. Sorry, Pirates. They're rebuilding. This guy's gone. They're rebuilding. And there's Manny Machado. Uh, Red, 68 wins. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the Reds. That could be maybe probably a little bit more. Dodgers, 104 wins. That's going to be less. They're not going to win. I, I think they're going to win over 90 games, but they're not going to get close to 104. That's just that's just a ridiculous amount of wins. Diamondbacks, 93 wins. I say a little bit less. Rockies, 87 wins. I say a little bit less. Padres, 71 wins. I say a little bit more. And I think the Giants are getting a lot more than 64 wins. I think they're going to be right there. I think it's going to be Dodgers, Diamondbacks, and Giants right in the mix and they'll probably beat each other up too, which is why I think their win, like Dodgers' win total, will be a lot less. You know, they're just gonna beat each other up. Kershaw with twenty plus wins. I mean, I could see that happening. He's got a. I think the big concern, of course, is his back. He has a, he has some back issues. 
So if he's 100% there, then yeah, I mean, I, I, I think he could definitely win 20 plus games. Make his make 32, 30, 32, 34 starts. You know, win 20 games. I could definitely see that happening. That back issue, if it... Well, Kershaw can opt out of his contract at the end of the season. That'll be an interesting off-season note at the end of the year. You know, so we'll see what happens there. If he's got back issues, you know, maybe he doesn't... Maybe he doesn't opt out. Or maybe he will regardless. I mean, he's going to get paid, right? There's Adam Jones. For the Orioles, AL East, Mark Glassman with that parallel. C.O. Turles has no more than 17 wins for Kershaw. I don't know if he's 100%. I think over 20 is possible. In fantasy, would I trade Robbie Ray for Clayton Kershaw? Uh, what are what, what's what's the like standard scoring? No like no like wacky pitching stats that you guys use. Just standard scoring, non keeper league. If it's a keeper league or a dynasty league, I would. I would give the edge to Robbie Ray. He's a lot younger than Clayton Kershaw. Robbie Ray can put up Ks too. Um, but I don't know if you're going to get the... This guy, this guy, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you're going to get the... Uh, I mean, the ERA last year was really good. But is he 289 Robbie Ray or is he uh, 250, 352 Robbie Ray? You know what I mean? That might be an issue. He's always going to strike out a boatload of guys, though. That could be an, that could be an interesting trade, though. I mean, Kershaw is just that good, though. But I don't know if you would... I almost think that's if you if you have either Robbie Ray or Clayton Kershaw, I feel like that's almost a feels like kind of a lateral move. Um, Peace Vedouin and Carnacion's bat for the AL Central, Jeremy. Oh, it's a keeper league with K's wins, complete game theory. Whip K K and walks K per nines and quality starts. I mean, if you if you believe that Clayton Kershaw is going to be healthy. I think he's going to win you more of those categories. Is it head-to-head -head or is it Roto? If it's Roto, I would definitely keep Clayton Kershaw, although there is an edge to, to getting Robbie Ray. That's in a vacuum, though. You know, if you have other needs, you know, and other holes that you have to fill, you know, maybe you, maybe you, you do that. Oh, Carlos Carrasco, Indians auto, AL Central. So this case seemed to be AL Central heavy. It's good for Jeremy Merle. There you go. Let's see if we end up with any other random relics or numbered cards before we call it. Superb Owl Mixer coming up next after this. It may take a quick five after this lengthy break, and then we'll go. No other randomizers to do. Head-to-head, -head, you have Keichel, Kluber, and... And Syndergaard, how many teams are in your league? Four? <laughs> are there four teams in your league, Eric O? Now, I used to make fun of, like, uh, leagues that were, like, you know, eight, ten, twelve team leagues. I used to make fun of those. But then there's also, it's like the it's like the, um, the DraftKings kind of challenge, right? Where, you, where you're like... Where you're like, yeah, okay, you can have you can have a bunch of studs to choose from, but it's like the challenge then is knowing which studs to start. You know, that's all. That's all. That's always a tough one. You guys keep twenty five. Oh, so it's more like a dynasty league. Um, I mean, I think it's kind of a lateral move. I would lean Robbie Ray just because of I think he's slightly younger than Clayton Kershaw. So that's my advice. More on JaspiesHobbyland.com. More breaks. More sports to talk about. More fantasy to talk about. Uh, a lot of other things, too. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.